another math easy solution. Turn to discuss uh, basically a quick video on proving that the sum of angles in a four-sided polygon equals to 360 degrees and basically prove this. And what I mean by this is if you had just any random four-sided shape, four-sided polygon such as this, for example, let's say you had a shape like this. Let's make this a straight line. So let's say this is a four-sided polygon. So this angle is A, this angle is B, this angle is C, so it doesn't matter what they are, this is D. So the addition of all these, if you sum up A, A plus B plus C plus D, it should equal to 360 degrees. So in proving this, yeah, what we can do to prove it is basically move around these angles to one point. So what I'm going to do is move everything to here, or try to get the angles about this point. Now, this will make more sense to get through it. So first what I'm going to do is extend this line, per, like just exact same angle, just extend it there. I'll put this for the same angle. So the same angle, I'm going to extend it there. I'm going to make this line across, like this, just our dash. Extend that. Put this line like that, just put a dash. So what we have right here, actually I'll just make it a full line. So, this is the same, while well, we're doing extending this one, so, and this is pretty much the same exact shape. You can see these angles are the same on this side, this side relative to this point. So this one is just A. So this is just a reflection. You can see it's just symmetric about that point. So what I'm going to do is move this also over to here. So I'm going to draw this exact uh, parallel line across, so it's parallel to this and this. It's the same exact shape. So since we have, well, this one is the same. This is just a one line. This is exactly the same thing over here. So this is just shifted over to this side. So this angle is A. So that angle is A. And now we do the same thing for, well, this uh, C right here. What we'll do is is extend this line further down. So I'm going to just extend this like that, use it in blue. So this angle is the same as this one. Like I'm, this this line is all is just just extending it further. And then I'm going to extend this angle down. I'll put one dash in blue, one dash in blue. This is the exact same thing. So then this is just a reflection. This angle is C. So what I'm going to do is draw the same parallel line over here. And extend it like that. So this is the exact same one. So I'll draw it like that. So this exact same one, as you can see, is the same angle going down, same angle to the right. So this angle is the is just the exact same as this one. Let's just see. So we have that. And now the last part is to see what this angle is. Well, let's look at this part. So we have this double dash, um, double line. Uh, a red line this, this indicates that this is this same this full line across here so it's the same angle as this and this angled line is the same as this one so we have this D uh, angle with these two lines intersecting and that's the exact same thing as this so this is has to be D so since that's D and then this is just a full uh, 360 that's by definition so because this is all this this fills up every single uh, angle about this this like circle or curve what we uh, know now is by definition this is by definition equal to 360 degrees so a full revolution is equal to 360 degrees uh, so by definition adds up to 360 degrees so that's the, again by definition and I'll draw that right here so if we have a, a line like this this full thing is 360 degrees by definition. Okay. So we have that. So thus we have, since all of these add up into one full revolution, we have A plus B plus C plus D equals to 360 degrees. Like that. And now, yeah, so that's the proof for this one, but there's another uh, easier way to prove this, uh, and I'll show that right here. So let's go uh, proof number two, just for completeness sake, it's also because it's pretty interesting. So proof number two, uh, if we use, we can also use the fact 
that, and I, and I proved this earlier that, yeah, that the angles in a triangle add up to uh, 180 degrees. In a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And I proved this in my earlier video, so make sure to watch that in my earlier video. Put the link below in the description. So basically, if you have any any triangle, doesn't matter what shape it is, if you had angle A, it'd be C, basically you have A plus B plus C equals to 180 degrees. So we could use this very fact to prove this uh, for this four-sided polygon. So what we'll do is let's draw just a random shape again, like this, like that. Okay, let's draw this connecting. So we have this. This angle is A. This angle is B. This angle is C. This angle is D. So what we'll do here is we'll just draw a line between two angles. Let's pick A and C so that we have two triangles. So that's triangle one, triangle two. So we have also write one, two. So what this means is, well, let's just write this angle as A1 and this angle as A2. And we know A1 plus A2 is just a full angle of A. And then this one is split into two. So you have C1 and then C2. So now we have two triangles. So for the first one, we just used a uh, triangle theorem that I covered earlier. So we have A1 plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. That's just a triangle. So all those angles sum up to 180. So for the second triangle, we have, well, A2 plus C1. Oh, this, this is, yeah, whoops, uh, for this is C2. This is C2 here, I accidentally took this angle as C. So we have C1 and then plus we have D. This equals to 180 degrees. Now we could just add up these all together. So just add up every line and we have A1 plus A2 plus B plus C2 and then plus, um, also put, the, put them in order. So plus B plus C1 plus C2 plus D and then this one here is 180 plus 180 degrees. So we get, well, this is A, this is C. So we get A plus B plus C plus D is equal to, and this is just add, adds up to 360 degrees. And there you go, that's a proof using this method like that too, and just to prove it, that the uh, sum of the angles in the four-sided polygon equals 360 degrees. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this pretty interesting video on just triangles and angles and, and parallel lines, etc. To show you, you can move around to see what the angles are. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you learned. You can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.